Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review, this time for Bandai's Metal Build Gundam Axial Repair. Alright, so uh, this is a very very big box, uh, very nice box art, uh, has this uh, very worn out look just like the uh, Axial Repair. And I'm just going to bring the box out of the picture, it's really really big. So without further ado, here is a uh, Gundam Axial Repair. I'm just going to shift the camera down a little bit, alright. So this is a Gundam Axial Repair. Uh, just to note, I'm right now in uh, in the middle of 3 a.m. Um, doing this review because I just got this toy uh, this evening, and I was busy with work and blah blah blah. So uh, in order to be one of the first to bring you this review, I'm here in Singapore in the middle of 3 a.m. doing this review. So uh, talk about dedication, huh? All right. <laughs> anyway, so here's Axia. Um Really, really nice. Okay, this. This piece, you know, um, you gotta hold it in your hand uh, to really appreciate the toy because um, if you were to look at just pictures, you might think that apart from uh, some, maybe some coloring to give it the uh, burnt look and uh, taking out the left arm, uh, taking out a few parts here and there, uh, this is actually a lot more than that. Uh, I shall go through from, from top to bottom to, to explain more. Uh, first, part of my camera because I know the resolution is not high, but the uh, Axia's head is a totally different head sculpt. Okay, you have uh, a lot of details to it uh, in terms of half the face is blown off, and then you only see the eye over here, and half the crest here is actually cut off. But they actually gave you another crest. This is made of plastic uh, or PVC, and you have another one that's made of rubber, just in case you're worried you might accidentally break it. Alright, so that's the head part. In terms of the fins on the uh, neck, you see here we have this yellow one over here and here we don't have it. It's not just a matter of uh, removing it, okay, it's a matter of actually creating a whole new piece of uh, of this piece so that there's no additional joint because over here you need an additional joint for this to fit in but there's no additional joint for it to peg in, uh, which I'll show over here. So over here you just uh, take this out. So you see this this joint, all right. There's actually something over here. This uh, this uh, pole over here for you to actually fit it in, but the other side is none. So you can't just fit it in this way. So actually, it's a really there's really a lot of uh, heart and soul put into creating this 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 piece, uh, which is you know something I really respect Bandai for it. And over here, let's moving on to the shoulder pad. So there's some black uh, like burnt. Uh, markings here. It's just to simulate that you know you, you in the in the in the war you got blasted by lasers, machine gunnery guns. So it's just a burnt look, which is very 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 nice. And over here the shoulder pads. Okay, there's actually depressions and cuts. You know over here. So it's not just it's not just a normal shoulder pad of recalling, but it's a total remove of the shoulder pad as well with cuts uh, to show the depression. So it's really cool. And if we move the blades, of course, we see this top portion of the blade is actually cut off, and portions of the blade actually have a jagged edges to show that actually it's gone through a, a lot of uh, fight and there's no no repair. So this is really really detailed in terms of the um, the damage that's done. Okay, and of course we move on to look at the the chest portion over here. The green plastic here. Okay, again, pardon for my camera resolution is really not sharp, I'm so sorry, but there's crack, you know, it's crack, it's molded crack and it's really really nice. Molding is crack and that is really awesome. Moving to the back first, alright. Over here these two parts are supposed to be uh, GN swords, but apparently it seems that based on this version of the uh, backpack, uh, it's actually like cut off or removed. So you can see it's like jagged and uh, cut off so it's really really nice and over here as well the back we have this burnt uh, greyish uh, colouring which is a very nice uh, touch you know usually I, you would think that only like model kits you have to use a lot of uh, spray painting and adjustments and be really careful to have that uh, burnt or, or battle damage look but this is really really well done and if you look at the leg portions over here all, all the markings most of the markings have scratches okay so which is another uh, level of detail so even at the bottom here, you see a scratch over here for the blue parts. And over here, uh, to simulate the, the, the battle damage, okay, this part is missing. It's not just a matter of removing it, but it's a remolding of this part. So it's not just removing this movable section over here, but also recreating this part over here. 
and of course we look at the sides over here there used to be this green um, uh, what you call that uh, plastic okay let me just show you here with the X here okay for here there's a green plastic but there, he, there isn't any here so there's another level of detail uh, being being uh, given here and uh, also yes let's take out this part so this part even for the uh, the thigh cover as well we see bellow damage right here is a cut over here it's an in cut over here and here is also another cut which is absent in the uh, original one and also um, uh, scratches on the on the engraving so this is another detail that you see it's really really awesome I tell you guys and of course over here uh, on the crotch portion it's also scratches and, and it's a remolding of like a, a piece of the metal is being chipped off here and there so it's really really awesome and of course here at the kneecap all right the it's a totally removed this whole die cast piece is totally removed it's not just a matter of removing this piece you see removing this piece it gives you a very different uh this is like a pack for you to pack in but this is basically really to simulate that this piece was blown off and it's only left the the uh, kneecap or uh, exposed so this is really really awesome uh, color wise really awesome and of course we, we don't get a left hand but we get this um, this cloak and the cloak is made of uh, hard rubber so you don't have to worry being warped over time because it's unlikely to warp it's really uh, gonna stay in place and you can move the joint as a whole and you can also move the cloak freely which I will do so in my demonstration later uh, but it's really nice in terms of weight wise it's exactly the same uh, if not slightly lighter than the Axia due to the lack of one arm but you know basically it's really really heavy it's really hefty articulation wise same X here you get movement here all the way up you have you can move this shoulder portions here you can move them front back hit 360 rotation hit you can actually move it quite up to look this much which is really cool a lot of articulation 360 uh, waist you can move the waist are pretty tight as well and uh, we have double jointed elbows over here and the uh, elbow joint you can actually rotate it as well Okay, over here, very tight joint over here. You can actually rotate it, which is really really cool. Um, waist wise, I've demonstrated. Uh, in terms of legs wise, you can really move them a lot. Um, and here, being free exposed, you can really move it all the way degrees up. Double jointed knees, really cool. And um, toes wise, a lot of movement as well. So this is really really awesome. Uh, I'm just gonna show the blade. I'm just gonna put the blade up. So right now I'm just gonna do to uh, adjust the uh, blade. Let me just do it in a moment. Let me just shift this outwards. All right, and now put the uh, rifle into the hand. So over here we have done. See, this is um, Axia holding his rifle. Okay, uh, beam gun, and you're gonna switch it to a sword just need to lift this part up and there you have it here is the sword really cool really awesome I'm just gonna give, uh, give a pose for this guy which is you know, something he really really deserves I'm just gonna pose him and show you how awesome he looks uh, even as a battle damage piece it's really really awesome I really love this piece and I'm just going to uh, pose him a little bit okay Okay, the shoulder parts uh, might come off, but no worries, we can just clip them back in. Okay, just show X here charging forward, and I'm going to adjust the cloak as well. Okay. And here, yes, really awesome. Let's take a look. Let me see if I can just place him down. I, I'm not putting it on the stand, okay, but yes, I'm going to show you this way. So this X here, really awesome. See, with this pose is charging forward really really nice really awesome especially if you put on a stand here this this pose looks really awesome it's like your final strike and battle damage but i'm gonna give you a final strike this is really awesome you know this is really awesome look of this okay i'm gonna adjust it back to his uh freestanding position let me see yes even a freestanding position is really awesome like this wow 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 i'm so excited about this piece so fun yes so fun so cool 
Now this cloak thing is really really cool. You know, um, I really have to apologize because of the quality of my camera. I can't show uh, the level of detail for the pin, but I tell you honestly, uh, take my words for it, the level of pin, all, all the uh, battle damage markings, all, all the um, uh, what I call that, all the engravings and all the detailing that is really awesome for this piece. I know, I know a lot of people might not really like this because you know it's like a one arm bandit, you're missing one arm, but this is really, really an awesome piece. And it's not a, it's not just a piece of uh, just mildly modify, modifying certain certain parts. Uh, it's actually a piece more of like, I think he's more like a, I treat him more like a 50% remake, at least a 50% remake, and in terms of painting wise, it's really totally different, you know. The battle damage markings, the battle damage look, and the feel is really awesome. Once you hold it in your hands, and once you look at it in the light, you will really feel that this is really a figure worth worth getting, because it's really awesome. You know, I am so, so in love with this piece, I, I think I'm gonna get one or two more, it's really, really nice. I really love it. And you know, it comes with parts which I'm not gonna uh, take out. Uh, it comes with these shoulder parts for you to swap to free the axial repair too. Same for the uh, the front leg parts and these two actually are the back hand parts. Okay, for to swap ex uh, axial to axial too. And then we have a uh, spare hands for his right hand. And then we have the stand piece. We have the extra head crest. And we have the uh, GN drive. This is very interesting. I'm just gonna show this GN drive. This is the uh, GN drive activated open mode GN drive. So basically, you know, when the GN drive is activated, it sort of comes out uh, in full power, something like that in the show. I can't really remember, but this is how how cool it looks. You know, so this is additional GN drive, something that uh, you will need. Okay, basically, this set is like um, I I think uh, if you are a big fan of Gundam Double O and you're a big fan of Xia, in order to get all the different forms, different modes, you will definitely get this at least for these spare parts over here. So it's really um, something you need to get. You know, I, I think um, Banda is not, not shortchanging you and not making you buy this piece for the sake of getting the spare parts to form the Axia Repair 2. Um, personally, I feel that getting this Axia itself is, is, a, is a nice figure on its own. It's really, really nice. I mean, if you look at the Axia over here. Okay. He is extremely clean, extremely clean, fresh launch uh, from the from the firing pad uh, from from the warship. But this Axia is really like I've been through the battle, you know, all the scarring and everything. It's really awesome. You know, this is, I think is the first time uh, Bandai did a completed model, okay, which has so much detail in terms of coloring, in terms of uh, a battle damage. You know, this is really a first for Bandai, and I think it really works. I mean, for really Axia, Axia repair, uh, it really works because it's really awesome. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't stop saying how awesome it is because it, it, re it really is that awesome. Despite being a battle damage piece, it is really awesome. I mean, this is something that it probably takes an expert modeler to do a good job of. All, all the black and everything, all the shadowing and, and whatever. It's really, really well done. I mean, it's really amazing. I would say well done Bandai. Uh, joints are tight and everything. Um, so this is really a very nice figure. I'm just gonna uh, make him go back to his uh, default position to, uh, to do a, a another comparison uh, with Axia. So here we have, you know, it's really, really absolutely cool. Uh, personally, I, I think this piece is really worth the money. Uh, he's still available right now in uh, various websites, maybe because uh, uh, some people are probably not getting it because they're skeptical about how nice this piece is, but really trust me, once you see this piece in the light, you will love this piece. It's real. It's worth every single cent. All right. So uh, here's Charles signing off with uh, yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time. Uh, shift the camera down a little bit. All right. So this is a Gundam Axia Repair. Uh, just to know, I'm right now in uh, in the middle of 3 a.m. Uh, doing this review because I just got this toy uh, this evening, and I was busy with work and blah blah blah. So uh, in order to be one of the first to bring you this review, I'm here in Singapore in the middle of 3 a.m. doing this review. So uh, talk about that. Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review, this time for Bandai's Metal Build Gundam Axia Repair! Alright, so uh, this is a very very big box, uh, very nice box art, uh, has this uh, very worn out look just like the uh, Axia Repair. 
and I'm just gonna bring the box out of the picture because it's really really big so without further ado, here is a Gundam Axia repair I mean, it's medication, huh? alright, <laughs> anyway so here's Axia um, really really nice, okay this this piece, you know, um, you gotta hold it in your hand uh, to really appreciate the toy because um, if you were to look at just pictures, you might think that apart from uh, some, maybe some coloring to give it the uh, burnt look and uh, taking out the left arm, uh, taking out a few parts here and there, uh, this is actually a lot more than that. Uh, I shall go through from, from top to bottom to, to explain more. Uh, first, pardon my camera because I know the resolution is not high, but the uh, Axia's head is a totally different head sculpt. Okay. You have uh, a lot of details to it uh, in terms of half the face is blown off and then you only see the eye over here and half the crest here is actually cut off. But they actually gave you another crest. This is made of plastic uh, or PVC and you have another one that is made of rubber just in case you're worried you might accidentally break it. Alright, so that's the head part. In terms of the fins on the uh, neck, you see here we have the